It's officially zucchini season and this tasty green vegetable has become quite popular over the past few years. From magical zucchini noodles to sneaking it into baked goods, there are many ways to add this veggie into your meal prep. Just in case you need even more ideas to get zucchini in your recipes, Louise Snodgrass with Good Roots Farm and Gardens is here to share some creative ideas to get you cooking with zucchini in no time. Hi, Welcome. how are you? Thanks good for to, having me. Yeah, good to have you. So first I just want to start off by asking you how you got into this and, <laughs> and working with local yeah. foods and your passion for yes. it. Yes, so I, growing up I've always loved being outside, getting a little dirty, and I've also loved expressing myself through creativity and art. Um, but more recently, in 2017, I um, helped uh, with a disaster relief efforts in Hurricane Harvey, and I worked with an organization as a community liaison. So I discovered my love for community development, and um, I realized that my love for food and eating food and just cooking in the kitchen also incorporated all of my passions from being outside and um, being creative and involving the community. So I got involved with local foods. I became a gardener because you get a little dirty. You can plan your garden and be a little creative. And then I realized I have all of these vegetables that I don't know what to do with. So my creativity came in again and I started creating recipes. And I have a great opportunity with Good Roots Farm and Gardens to plan events and create pizza recipes for them and um, manage their gardens. So I get to do all of my favorite things for an awesome um, organization or a business, excuse me. So yeah, well, yeah congratulations. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Doing big things then. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about zucchini now because mm -hmm. really, if you look at it, it kind of looks like a cucumber almost. Yeah. And as a kid, I hated zucchini. I think because Same. it had the letter Z in it, so I thought, no, that's <laughs> no, that's gross. So I, uh, I've never really liked zucchini until more recently in my adult life. Um, but yeah, it's really great for you and it tastes nothing like a cucumber. Right. Yeah. What are the health benefits that come along with eating zucchini? So it, ha it is rich in vitamins and minerals. It is super high in antioxidants. It improves digestion. It has a lot of soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. And it also has um, a lot of magnesium and potassium. And it has a lot of B vitamin complex, which helps lower blood sugar. It's also great for weight management. It has... Um, a lot of water in the zucchini so when you substitute like pasta um, you're getting more full for less calories um, and yeah so it's just a great substitute and an addition to a recipe. Now I've made zucchini noodles before mm -hmm. so I know what you mean by getting the same amount of yeah, food. Yeah, you're but full, feeling, yeah. but you have, you're, you're not feeling heavy because right. you had um, something that is more um, full of water and has a higher moisture content yeah. than um, like a pasta noodle. But today you're making a pretty unique recipe with yes. us today. So yes. what is this called? So it is pickled squash or uh, pickled zucchini. I used a uh, yellow zucchini and a green zucchini. There is a yellow summer squash that you can use, um, but I used a yellow zucchini. And so. what ingredients do you need for this? So you're going to need um, some cilantro. You're going to need some garlic. You're going to need some peppercorns, coriander seeds, which is just the seed of a cilantro plant, um, and crushed red pepper flakes, as well as your yellow squash and zucchini. Okay, so first steps, you started this already, but yes. what did you have to do first to get So ready? you will also need um, apple cider vinegar, some honey, and some salt, and a little bit of water. And I started this last night. I didn't really want to boil apple cider vinegar in the studio because it has a very strong smell, but um, you just... Put about a cup and a uh, fourth um, equal parts of apple cider vinegar and water, some salt and honey, and you boil it. And once it reaches a rolling boil, then you're ready to uh, pour it over your ingredients in a jar. So normally, if you were boiling this right here, you would put it over the ingredients right away? Yep, it would okay. be hot, um, and then um, you would let it sit at room temperature. It would create a nice seal, and you would put it in the fridge for four hours before you eat it. Okay, so let's talk about how you get now... Aside from the liquid mixture, how you get everything else ready? Right. So what I do is I like to mandolin slice my zucchini and my yellow squash because I, I just think they're easier to handle. They're nicer to put on a sandwich. They look better on a charcuterie board with uh, meats and cheeses, and they're nice to put on crackers. Um, so I like to slice them really thin. You can slice them however you would like to um, enjoy your pickled squash. And then I also harvest... Um, cilantro and I get all my other ingredients ready. A lot of this stuff is usually already in your kitchen. You make a lot of recipes with honey and peppercorns and 
crushed red peppers and coriander. So, so I'm looking at this, and I've tried cutting a zucchini before, and it's a little <laughs> bit hard. How did yeah. you get them this thin? Um, so what I did was I took our mandolin slicer, and um, make sure to use this safety tool, or you will slice your fingers. I I know quite a few people who have done this, so be very safe. Um, but you will pierce the zucchini. Um, usually I chop a little bit of the end off beforehand and you will kind of slide it back and forth and it will create some nice slices. And a lot of mandolin slicers have different size options so if you want a thicker slice you can adjust your mandolin slicer. All right so are we gonna put this into the jar? Yes ma'am. Get it yes, ready? Yes yes. Perfect so while we're doing this I just <laughs> want to ask what is the most unique thing that you've made with zucchini? Okay I've made a zucchini burrito boat which Ooh. sounds very interesting, yeah. but zucchini is an incredibly versatile squash. Um, it has a very mild flavor. It's a little bit sweeter. So if you want to go ahead and put uh, black beans on it, if you want to add some salsa, some cheese, some refried beans, whatever you would normally put on a burrito, you just hollow out your zucchini and you go ahead and add those ingredients and you pop it in the oven and then you eat it like a burrito. Okay. So, and I also have a friend who um, she made zucchini lasagna. So she sliced up her zucchini long ways and used that instead of lasagna noodles. I have made zucchini lasagna. Yes, I forgot about that yes, until you mentioned yeah. it. And it actually is really tasty. You can't even yeah. tell the difference whether it's noodles or not. I know. And it's just, and it's more satisfying because you're like, oh, I'm being healthy. You know? Right. And so it, it just feels really great. So, so how just, much of this do we put in? So I usually do a tablespoon and I don't have... So I'll I just don't. Yeah, I usually estimate when I make these things. I was a little nervous last night when I was making it, and I was like, you know what? It's gonna taste great. It's gonna be awesome. So I adding peppercorn. I'm adding peppercorns. Real cooks don't measure. Yeah, yeah. You just kind of have a sense of what you're doing, <laughs> and you add all the seasonings. And I did not bring onion or garlic in the studio either because that is also a smelly um, vegetable. So. So then we add the liquid, and yeah, then we're so good to go. I usually stuff this much more. There we um, go. Thank you. Right, and you so can hear the seal right there. Yeah. Um, and then you will pour, pour it, it over. over. Well, this looks fantastic. Yep. So thank you so much for coming yeah, in and teaching yeah. us how to do this. Definitely, definitely.